Sir, I have myself full confidence that if all do their duty, if nothing is neglected, and if the best arrangements are made, as they are being made, we shall prove ourselves once more able to defend our island home, to ride out the storm of war, and to outlive the menace of tyranny, if necessary for years, if necessary alone. At any rate, that is what we are going to try to do. That is the resolve of His Majesty's government, every man of them. That is the will of Parliament and the nation, the British Empire and the French Republic, linked together in their cause and in their need, will defend to the death their native soil, aiding each other like good comrades to the utmost of their strength. We shall go on to the end. We shall fight in France. We shall fight on the seas and oceans. We shall fight with growing confidence and growing strength in the air. We shall defend our island, whatever the cost may be. We shall fight on the beaches. We shall fight on the landing grounds. We shall fight in the fields and in the streets. We shall fight in the hills. We shall never surrender. And if, which I do not for a moment believe, this island or a large part of it was subjugated and starving, then our empire beyond the seas, armed and guarded by the British fleet, would carry on the struggle until in God's good time, the new world with all its power and might steps forth to the rescue and the liberation of the old. Well, hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Hilltop Hillbox here in Abbotsford, British Columbia, Canada. And we are on turn seven of season five of the YouTube Wars, the BBR version, Bloodbath Rules. And uh, there have been some developments, uh, if you've been following along, and we'll go over those with you now. As you know, the Axis have been kicking our cans all over the place. They have played a, uh, a, a game that I have marveled at since turn one. Um, and since about turn three, we've had a little bit of an air of, oh boy, we have no idea how to stop these guys, and with good reason. So, as we look here, you know that the Germans uh, on this round were able to take Moscow, not real convincingly, only three tanks left, uh, but hey, you only need one. Uh, the Italians are a real menace here. They have taken all of North Africa. They have uh, a lot of points going on in the Med. The axis of the Med point. They have uh, all the islands here. Yeah, it's just crazy. Um, we're kind of holed up as the English here. Haven't been able to build a single thing up in London as far as the sea zone goes because the Germans put some decent time, money, and energy into a fleet that has pretty much ruled the Atlantic until last round, uh, on the last turn, the Americans came down and were able to, uh, to kill the German fleet of one sub, one carrier, and three destroyers, and didn't sustain a single hit. So, yeah, we're a little boggled by that, but we'll carry on here with the updates. So the Russians, as you know, are ostensibly, uh, uh, just running for their lives, but they ran into the as you can read that, Tian Kunlun Pass and the uh, uh, Tian Kunlun Sha, Shan Pass. Uh, sorry, folks, I'm reading sideways. But anyway, only infantry can go in there and strat bombers can fly over. But no conflict, right? No, no fighting can take place in there. Essentially, they wouldn't be able to see each other. Uh, over here, we have the uh, Japanese took Calcutta about three rounds ago now. And I haven't had a, a glimpse of trying to take them back. Brought over a couple of tanks to uh, hopefully use to spoil the southern point, but was unable to do so because the Japanese just flew in some planes and killed both tanks, and I didn't get a hit. Well, what can you do? Uh, over here, we have all the money islands. And uh, here's something, though. Manila has never, ever been taken this game by the Japanese. Uh, they just went around it and did all their 
they're killing and it's uh looks like you don't need to take manila to win as the axis um but uh anzac are kind of hold up as well just a very very incredible game by the axis having said that uh something rather crazy happened on the last u.s turn yeah Matt Todd brought in his uh, ground units uh, from Korea and from Hawaii. And with the heavy transports, uh, he was able to bring in uh, the nine ground units. And then with his uh, bomber, he brought in two from the Philippines as a transport. So he had 11 ground units and five fighters. And they were able to defeat... Uh, I believe there was nine infantry, one artillery, and three fighters, and three anti-aircraft guns. He got, I believe it was eight or nine hits on the very first round. Uh, so that wiped out his anti-aircraft guns and, and six men, like just boom. And from then on, we had a real shot at winning. And of course, you can see we did win. Uh, so all the points that Japan has no longer count towards the Axis victory conditions of needing 12. Um, now the Japanese are going to have one counterattack here. They have uh, two transports worth of stuff that can make it up. So they'll have one shot at it. Tons of air support, of course. And uh, Americans have a little bit blocking here. But for the most part, uh, it's going to be it's going to be difficult. Uh, because we do have the Anzac here, who are going to fly up, and that'll give us uh, five ground units and three fighters. And uh, but you, I'm I've never ever uh, said you know something's over before it's over. I mean, look at the last round, right? So you never know. You never know if the dice go as ice cold for the Americans in Japan as they did for the Germans over here. They got no hits. Um, now they weren't rolling fours or anything. Okay. They were rolling ones and twos, but still you'd think they'd get a hit somewhere along the line. So, uh, that's it, uh, for the, the recap. We are now as the allies, just hoping not to screw this up. And, uh, yeah. So here we go with the UK. So I have, uh, not much money to spend. I'm going to spend 15 on an air base and 11 on a man and a um, destroyer. And then I have two that I'm saving because I'm getting convoyed again as per usual. All right, so for the attacks, what I have is Northwest Iran is held by the Italians and uh, we're gonna try to get in there. So we're using a man, an artillery, a tactical, and then these tacticals as well from Egypt, I have the air base and go six. So one, two, three, and they'll be able to return. That's why there's a three there. And then I'm also bringing one fighter. Okay, a little bit of overkill, but is if his anti-aircraft gets hot, there you have it. Uh, and that's it for attacks. That's it. I just have the one attack. Oh no! Oh, see, this is why we mark things out with red arrows. The other thing is, my whole fleet is going to come down here to C-Zone 42 and knock the planes off, but they're going to come, they're going to go one, two, three, one, two, three, and they'll have one left, of course, they'll land on the, con or on the uh, carrier, okay? All right, well, hopefully we can kill that tank. All right, here we go. We're going to start with the Northwest Iran. So we have got his anti-aircraft. He's going to have three shots at one. And I'm just using regular dice here because my other dice are upstairs getting uh, getting some help getting painted because they're fading a bit. So just using three kind of regular type dice. Okay, and I'll use them for my attacks as well. So here's his anti-aircraft. Needs ones. So a six, a five, and a two. So no hits with the anti-aircraft. And so I have a two at two. And then I've got, uh, I believe, three at three and one at four. All right, so two at two. Nothing there. And I've got three at three. 
Okay, so there's two hits, and he just has the two units. So now I'll roll his defense of the tank at a three. Okay, he gets a hit. And we'll take the man away from that. This goes away. This all goes away here. And we have the artillery left in Iran. The... Yeah, that's it for attacks. So now it's all non-com. So all these planes have three left, so they're all going to fly back. One, two, three, back to Cairo. I'm just going to grab a uh, British roundel to put there. All right. Now, part of me was kind of freaking out because I'm not leaving anything to cover this oil resource, but if the Japanese come and take it, it doesn't count because they don't have their capital. Now, if they get their capital, then it counts, and we're, this wouldn't matter anyway because they've got like 100 points. So, uh, so here, we're going to have these two get railed by the factory. Worth two, so we can go one, two, and get both these guys back no problem into Cairo. Um... Oh, shoot, we got to do this battle. All right, so I've got two at three. No bombard, of course, because I have no ground units. So two at three. Oh, two fives. Well, that's not good. He's got one at three. All right, got a six. I'll roll that again. Okay, so we got a three. Since that was a hit, I'll roll it for the tank. And a four, so you got a miss on that. But, of course, we didn't take the territory. It's just... Uh, Dead unit. Okay, so then the planes here have one left. They're going to go back onto the fighter. I won't have you worry about watching. They're beautiful planes, though. These are the ones that uh, Panzer King gifted to me. Uh, all these all these planes on stand. I don't have that kind of talent to paint. I had none. So all the all the planes that you see on my table here, they're all the, all the all the mounted ones here from uh, Panzer King. Just gorgeous. Okay, so these three fighters, they have the airbase, so they can fly six. So they're going to go one, two, three, four, and land in Gibraltar. All right. And get rid of that. Get rid of these. Get rid of that. And I believe that is everything. All right. All right. So that's all. Just making sure because, again, one of my guys sent a note, don't screw it up. So <laughs> he, he means that in all seriousness because I want to make sure I'm not leaving something open here that shouldn't be open. All right. So I'm now going to put on the build. So we have an air base going on Gibraltar, of course. We have a man going into Egypt. And we're going to have a destroyer go into C Zone 110. All right. Uh, so let's talk about money. So Britain is way down, way down. Uh, at least I'm not getting convoyed too heavily over here right now. But we are down 4, 7, 10, 11, 12, 15, 17. So we're down 17, but we are up to 4, so that's 13, and then this 1 goes to 12, but the Italians have that, so 13. So I'm down 13, and from my opening of 38, so that's 25, okay, so 25 now we're going to do the convoys. So I'm at 25. I'm just going to get out my 20. So that's 25. Two blues and a red is 25. But now the convoys. So we have a convoy here in 109. Okay, so that's three. So I'm getting convoyed for three up there. And then we have these two guys here. Or these two dice for the one sub. And getting convoyed for three as well, which I can because Egypt's two, Transjordan is that. So that's the max I can get convoyed is six. 
So I'm down to 19, okay, 19. But then we go over here and we see what we have here. So we do own Egypt, Transjordan, and El Alamein. So that puts us up from 19 to 24. And then two per, if we control Iraq, Iran, and Northwest Iran. So we're at 24 right now. And then Iraq, Iran, and Northwest Iran we have. So that's another $6 for those. So that's up to 30 now. Okay, so I'm at 25 minus 6 uh, puts me to 19. And then 11 in bonuses puts me up to 30. It doesn't, well, it will matter a bit because uh, I know that uh, Italy is wanting to come and take Egypt. So I'll have to try to defend Egypt, which could be fun. So I'm going to have $30 next round. Uh, okay, I'll do my recap now. And so, in England, we still have six men, one mech, and five AAA. There's a destroyer in 110. In Gibraltar, we have built a new airbase, and we have three fighters. In Egypt, we have three tacticals, one fighter, Five tanks, one artillery, and five infantry, or, well, two infantry, and then there's a Canadian infantry and two French. So two infantry, one artillery, five tanks, three tacticals, and one fighter. Northwest Iran, we have an, an artillery in uh, C Zone 42, we have a destroyer, two transports, a cruiser a battleship, a carrier, and two fighters on the carrier. And that is all we own on the entire board. So there you have it. That's our, uh, that's our turn for UK7. I guess we're going to have to wait and see what Japan 8 is like. Um, we're hoping that we can hold. Uh, dice are dice, though, and that's why we play these crazy games. Please, folks, I in my mind, there is a huge asterisk beside this. If we actually pull this off as a victory, it's a huge, huge asterisk in my mind. Uh, because the fall of Japan there, the dice were very, very good to us. Um, not that we didn't take losses, but we didn't take we didn't take many. So uh we're we're pretty uh we're pretty fortunate that the, the dice decided to to go crazy at that moment. Uh, but we're going to hand it over to Hambone, and he's in charge of L'Italia, and he's been doing a, a magnificent job with them. They're stretched way out over to here, and I just had to kick them out of Northwest Iran for Pete's sakes. So I'm sure they're going to come back in. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, he's, he's been annoying, and he has kept at almost all the UK money in Africa and the Middle East this game. He has played brilliantly, and he owns... Everything he wants to own, essentially. Except Cairo, but I'm sure that's coming. I'm sure he's coming for it. All right. We will uh, see what the rest of Turn 7 brings, and we'll see you folks on Turn 8.